Hello and welcome back to the channel Into Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to improve the weak security on your Virgin Media broadband. Right, so the first thing you need to do is get your IP address and password on the bottom of your router. Once you have the IP address, go on your browser of choice and type that IP address into the search bar, which will then load your router's homepage. Now the first thing you do to improve security of your router is changing the password, which if this is the first time logging in, you have to do this. So just change it to something that it's easy to remember for yourself, make sure you write it down and then you're done. Now that you're logged in and you've changed your password to something you can remember, this will now take you to the home page. The first thing you now need to do is check your firewall settings. To do this, click on advanced settings tab on the left hand side, then go to security submenu firewall. In the firewall settings, make sure firewall protection, port scan detection and IP flood detection are all enabled. Once you've done this, apply the changes and then click on the advanced settings tab again on the left hand side click on wireless submenu security in this menu you will see the 2.4 gigahertz wireless security setting and the 5 gigahertz configuration in the security tab make sure it's set to wpa2 personal and not wpa-wpa2 as the WPA2 personal is currently the highest level of encryption and security available on the Hub4 router. The next thing to do, which I highly recommend, is change the Wi-Fi password slash security key. Here currently you will see the password you entered to join your Wi-Fi network when it came new. All you have to do, delete that password out and then enter a password of your choice. It does have to be one lowercase and uppercase letter and one number and at least 10 characters long. Once you have done this and changed the password, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on apply changes. Also, if you do consider changing your password, just make sure you write it down and you know what it is, because if you do forget it, you won't be able to add any more devices to your network. And the final security feature to change is in advanced settings wireless then submenu wps in the wps menu go to wps push button and disable it i disable this for two reasons one i never ever use it and two what this does is it enables anyone to connect to your wi-fi by pushing the wps button on your router and bypassing your wi-fi password for this reason alone i disable it Again, once you've ticked disabled, click on apply changes and you're done. One extra little tip for you before we go is about the light ring. If you have your hub on show where you see it all the time or it's in your direct view and you find the light ring quite annoying as it's quite bright, you can go on lighting and take it off auto onto manual and turn the brightness all the way down to zero. Equally, you can turn it up also. For me, my hub is out of the way in the spare bedroom and I never see it, so I just have mine set to auto. Right, well that brings an end to today's video on how to improve your virtual media security. I hope you found this video helpful, if so please drop a like and comment below and consider subscribing to the channel in 2Tech. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.